Hey, are you in the market for a new Tundra? Are you contemplating waiting for the new redesigned version? Don't wait, buy now. And I'm gonna tell you why. Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. Hey, it is a beautiful day outside, and the other day we got a delivery that is not ours. This happens all the time here. It's, it's craziness, but it was a delivery for somebody else. So we're going to do the good thing. We're going to do the right thing. We're going to load it up into the tundra over there. And we're gonna take this lovely foot massager uh, over to its rightful owner. So let's get it loaded up into the, the tundra. This thing's uh, actually quite heavy. Must be good quality, right? You measure quality by weight. I'll go ahead and get this thing in here. It is so nice to have a bed because you can just grab things like this, throw them in the back, pretty easy, and take it wherever you need to go. Cold start. I'm not sure if that comes through on the video very well, but I gotta say, in person, it sounds pretty darn good. Not very good parking here. Let's just park right here in the middle. Yeah, I think right here. This is where we'll, we'll go. I'm going to go get this thing and take it up. Okay, there. Done. Did our good deed for the day. Um, she was uh, pretty thankful to get her foot massager. So uh, I feel good. It feels good to do the right thing, right? Uh, so anyway, out cruising around, we gotta, I gotta make a stop, I need some gas. I don't need gas. I mean, I have just a touch over a half tank, but I like to keep the hungry beast here full. I like to keep her happy, you know? And right now, she's a little hungry. Okay, we've got that all done. Now, I've got six reasons why you should buy a Tundra now and not wait for the redesigned version. Number one, reliability. We know what the current Tundra is, right? We know how reliable it is. We know, and I can speak personally to this because I've owned two now, they don't have any problems. You buy them, you drive them, you don't have to worry about them. We can't say that about the next gen Tundra because we don't know. And you've got to believe that once that thing come, comes out, there's going to be issues with it, right? It's a new model. It'll, it'll have been redesigned with new parts and new tech and new stuff. And there are going to be issues with it. I guarantee it. Next up, number two, pricing, especially this time of year. You know, right now we have the massive Toyota-thon going on. You know, you can save money. They're discounting these trucks. We don't know what the price of the next gen is going to be. Now, I would guess from my experience buying 60-plus vehicles over the years, brand new, that there is going to be a price increase once this new redesigned next gen Tundra comes out. I would guess that it's probably going to be somewhere in the ballpark of 1500 to 2500 bucks maybe more we don't know now i'm talking about 
the upper trim levels, you know, the Crew Max or the Platinum, the 1794. So if you're thinking about that trim line or that kind of a truck, you're gonna pay more money for it once the redesign comes out. I think it's, it's a given. They can't put all this new tech, you know, the new motor, the hybrid twin turbo, all this stuff into it and not charge more money. It's gonna happen. Number three, if this is important to you, and it's important to me, if you watch the channel, you know, and that is modability, right? If you're into truck mods, there is going to be a shortage of options once this new truck comes out. I mean, it only makes sense, right? All of the aftermarket folks are gonna have to retool, redesign, re-engineer all of their aftermarket parts for this new truck, simply because it's not available right now. I'm sure Toyota isn't sending them all the schematics so that they can go ahead and design all their aftermarket stuff so that when these new trucks are available and hit the market, there's a huge supply of aftermarket options out there. So if you're into mods and stuff and you like to make the truck your own, it's gonna be pretty limited for a while, probably somewhere in the ballpark of one to two years before you have the kind of supply or options out there that you have right now. Number four, a new powertrain. Will the V8 even still be available? If that's important to you, then you might lose it. You know, I haven't heard a definitive answer or seen a definitive answer from Toyota. Everybody has their own ideas and their own theories that no way are they gonna get rid of the V8. We don't know. There may not be a V8 option available once the redesigned version comes out. And it would kind of make sense to me. You know, if they produce a V6, they're going to want to sell that. They've got to recoup some of that design and engineering costs, right? So even if the V8 is still out there, you got to think that it's going to be on the downside, right? They're going to be pushing those new V6 trucks. They're going to be producing more of them because they're going to want to sell them. So you might lose the option to buy at least new a V8 version of the Tundra, if that's important. Next up, number five. You know what you're getting with the current model, right? I mean, you can go out now and you can drive one and you can test one and you can sit in one and you may already have one. They haven't changed in years, let's be honest. They're pretty much the same as they were 10 years ago. So if you've got a current version, you already know what the current version feels like, right? You're not gonna know that with this redesign. You may not like it. And then by the time you are ready to buy, you won't be able to pick up a brand new 2019 or 2020 because they won't exist anymore. You're gonna limit your options as to what you can get. Now, there's lots of rumors out there, again, but we can't be sure. We don't know for sure. All we see is a camouflage truck driving around. We don't know what's in it. We don't know what's going to be in it. Toyota hasn't announced that, not definitively. Next up, number six, the release date. You know, if you've got a truck right now or any vehicle that's kind of limping along on its last leg, right? And that's the reason that you're looking at getting something new. We don't know how long it's going to be. It could be two years. It could be more. Who knows? And even when it is released, we don't know if there are gonna be any production problems. Again, it's a brand new model, it's a redesigned truck. There could be issues with parts supply, there could be production line issues, there could be unforeseen quality issues. You know, when things like that happen, it shuts down production. That makes these trucks scarce, if available at all. You might even see some price gouging come along, especially in the beginning. You know when a new version comes out, Dealers want to raise the price up because they can. Anybody that wants to buy one and pay more for it, they'll be out there. But we don't know. It could be two years. It could be more. The rumor is that it'll come out late 2020 as a 2021 or maybe 2021 as a 2022. Don't know for sure. So anyway, bottom line, if I was in the market for a new Tundra and I was contemplating kind of weigh in the, uh, the options, I guess. I would not wait. I would buy now while I can save some money, 
Get a truck that's tried and true, reliable, not have to spend money or time in the shop, and get something that I'm comfortable with. The only downside, and it is a fairly big one, to buying the current version of the Tundra is fuel economy. The thing that nobody wants to talk about, but everybody talks about. Yeah, the Tundra is a bit behind the curve when it comes to that, but as everybody always says, it's a truck. If you want something that's gonna get better mileage and you don't need the hauling capacity of a truck, there are other options out there. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Are you in the market? Are you contemplating waiting until the new version comes out, the redesigned Tundra? Or are you gonna go ahead and pick one up now? I'd be curious to hear. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day.